the living room, the big thing in the living room is converting all of these areas to sleeping areas. So we're going to start with the over cab bed lift. Before taking down the bed, a couple of important things. The seats need to be reclined. We have the driver's side reclined and then you'll need to make sure to recline the passenger seat. This also can swivel um, and recline that way. Um, before the bed is lowered, there are pins on either side that need to be removed. And it's also a good idea because these towers do lower just to make sure that the area below the towers is free from anything that could get squished. And then the bed is lowered. So I'm gonna have my handy assistant lower the bed. On the keypad. Perfect. And then there is a ladder that hooks in here. There's a waterproof mattress cover already. You throw a sleeping bag, you throw a kid, you're ready to go. Uh, the driver and passenger captain seats do swivel around. Um, in order to do this, they should be pushed forward. And then on the right hand side, there's a little lever and that will allow you to swivel it around. This seat turns all the way around because of the steering wheel. The driver's seat turns 90 degrees. Um, but the important part is to make sure that it's flipped forward before you try and rotate it. For the other bedding options, this sofa kind of opens and so you just, just kind of folds out like a futon. And if you've slept on those before, um, and then just folds back in. Um, the seat belts, when that happens, do kind of go behind the sofa, so you do need to kind of reach in and grab them to drive again. For the dinette, this table will lower down to be at the same level as these benches, so I usually recommend taking off all of the pillows. There's a little switch here that you unlock and then just simply push the table down. And then when you put all the pillows flat, you've got a nice sleeping surface. To turn it back into the dinette, you simply lift it up, re-engage the lock, and then it will kind of push down until it's in its locked position. Then you're done. All right, additionally in this area, just a couple more things to review. You have two sets of lights that you can use. Um, there are kind of the overall house lights, which are these little can lights that are on right now. They can be operated by the lighting button on um, the control panel. Um, and they're labeled, um, the front lights, the bed lights, etc. Um, there also all are some uh, flip switch lights underneath here that um, really just toggle on an, an LED strip. So those are nice at night um, if you want a little bit of light but you don't want the, the full overhead lights on. There's also another one kind of hidden under here under the kitchen cabinet too that turns on an LED strip of uh, each of those. Uh, the other things that can be controlled up here um, two things I want to point out. You can start the generator from here. So pressing the generator button will bring up the generator start button. Um, it keeps track of the elapsed time and, and you're allotted a certain number of generator hours included in your rental and then there's just a charge if you go over that. But you simply press the start and it should auto start and it runs off the same gas tank that's in the motorhome. So if you're less than a quarter tank of gas in your tank, the generator will turn off and won't run anymore because um, it doesn't want to strand you. Um, the other thing I want to point out on here um, are um, the um, HVAC system, so the heating and air conditioning. Um, we do include a electric tower fan in this um, coat closet right in the front here, um, and that can be used uh, for chilly mornings um, when you're hooked up at a campground. Um, but if you do need to run the propane furnace um, or the air conditioner if you're hooked up on power, um, you can do so on here on the HVAC setting. It works just like a thermostat in your house. Um, you can uh, you can you can set the uh, the setting for heat and cool, or if you're just going to be heating or just cooling. And once you turn that on, you can slide and pick the temperature that you uh, want uh, the the motor hoach to to reach.